I'm actually pissed I got apart. They came in and they was all messed up. They was all bent together and smushed in there like no one cared what they was doing. And I'm surprised they actually got it apart. We almost had to go send it back and get another one because they said to us it was all broke. But thankfully, once we pulled them out, sorry guys for interrupting this video, but I just want to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on and some other stuff. But thank you. First, I want to say thank you guys for watching my video because YouTube regular hate speech is like every other independent creator on this platform as of lately because YouTube is stonks unless you're a late night talk show host. But if you guys really want to help me and support my channel, you can do what is happening right here. Probably beside my face or where my finger's pointing right there. See, you can subscribe, click the bell and there's some ding dings right there. See, that, that's pretty. But really, guys, if you want to do that, it would really help my channel. Now, let's get into the actual video. So, what? Hello! Welcome back to my channel today. What is it? Thursday? Friday? Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday! Whoop, whoop! Anyways, guys, sorry I haven't uploaded hardly any this week. I had computer problems. I had internet problems. The power went out when I was uploading videos, so I had to wait and upload a long video. And the long videos were long, so it took forever to upload the whole thing. But, guys, look, we got tomato plants, and we didn't even plant. Look at this. Oh! Oh, we got tomato plants. We didn't even plant them. But, uh, it was nice outside. And also, guys, we did something cool this weekend, which I didn't get to film because uh, I wasn't filming this weekend. But we went to the hunting fishing expo show thing down in Morgan. I don't want to say where. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you what we got. We got beef turkey. We got... <laughs> so if we got Girl Girls Cookie beef turkey, we also got a hat. And my dad got a bunch of other stuff, too. We didn't get anything major because... There wasn't really much there for some reason. Usually there's more stuff there. It wasn't I mean there's a lot there, but it wasn't really a lot lot. Like usually there's like more stuff that makes sense. Eh, I think they took half of it out because we was there on the last day. Anyways, guys, let's get this day started. We'll cut back in a minute. Whoop. Hi guys, I'm back to this is what I got. We got I got a leather hat. Dude, one hundred percent leather. It's made out of elk. Not really. It's actually made in Mexico, but we thought it was like made like handmade around here. But I mean it is handmade because it's it's leather, but but I got one too, but his is darker than mine. See? But I got a hat too, but his is darker than mine. Also, guys, we got Girl Scout cookies, which are pretty cool. Who's helping the local Girl Scouts out? And also, we got this is the best beef jerky I've ever had. Hey, come on. What is your problem? Uh, Jake probably needs doo doo. He's fine. This is the best beef jerky I've ever had. What? What? This is the best beef jerky I've ever had. It is absolutely amazing. I love it. It like super soft. Love this stuff. Love this stuff. Mm. No. Best feature I ever have. Come on, get your shoes on. You get your shoes on. Mm, exactly. Anyway, guys, we did what up for walk. I will cut back in a few minutes. Hi, guys. I'm back. I thought we was done with this cold weather, but apparently no. It's still freezing out here. I know! It's still freezing out here, and I don't know. It's kind of snowing. My mom said it's snowing, but I don't believe it. I think it's too warm to snow. It might be snowing a little bit here and there, but I don't think it's going to not do anything nowadays. We've got like two weeks before we can really do anything. Well, probably about two weeks, and it should be warm enough to... We might start peppers this weekend, and maybe tomatoes a week after that, because peppers take a long time sometimes. So we might start peppers inside here soon, if the cats even let us, because the cats like to eat the... I don't know how we're going to do it. We could probably start, uh... One thing's inside now. Uh, what do you call it? We probably start, like, cold weather stuff. Like, the car's really loud. What? Cause we're out of rain. Cause we're out of rain. Look in your car. See if there's anything in your car. Oh, uh, that thing's coming today. So it's out for delivery. Mom, what's that hanging underneath your car? You got something hanging underneath your car. Look. Do you see it? It looks like a strut or something. What is that? Something hanging from your car. Is it a strut? I don't know how this. <laughs> Whatever it is, it doesn't look good. Jake, don't run off. I don't got hands. What is it? What, this right here? Yeah. I don't know. You see the metal thing, right? 
Is it a strut or what? I don't know. I've never seen it before. It's the first time I've seen it. Well, that's the first time I've seen it. Here, take take Jake. Oh. You take Jake because this is heavy, oh, hard. Take my hat. Come on. Take him. Thank you. Yes, my mom's off work. Oh, she's actually in a video for once. Oh, right, mom. Like I said, guys, sorry I didn't upload for like ever. Uh, I, I, I tried to upload three videos and the first day, well, I missed the first day because it took forever to render upload because he's like, that one was like almost two hours long because I just wanted to get all done one video. I, got, I finally beat Luigi's Mansion and then I did a Pokemon video which was like almost two hours long and then I did uh, another Pokemon game that was like an hour long. So there's really long videos and it took for, it took forever to render and then uh, it took forever to upload because it was long and I didn't get to upload it for a whole day because it took like a whole day to upload one of them. And then, in the middle of uploading it, the power went out, and I didn't realize it, and I was asleep. And so I missed another day, and yeah, it was just a whole ordeal. It took, like, just a whole thing. So I missed, like, three days there, three or four days there. So, yeah, this will be the only vlog I do this week, because tomorrow i got to go back to recording, because it's Friday tomorrow. Well, no, no, it's... Wait. Yeah, because I'll put this video out, it'll be Thursday, and then Friday... Yeah, I think I... Yeah. Maybe one more video? I think I do one more video and then it's Friday that I get to do three. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I was all messed up this week. Then it was all messed up. The computer was really slow at rendering. And plus, I had computer issues because it wouldn't render one of my videos. I had to re-edit uh, it. And it was a whole thing. Like, one of my videos wouldn't, wouldn't go into Sony Vegas for some reason. I had to re-change it. And it was a pain in the butt. It's a whole thing. It's a whole ordeal, guys. It's not... It's not a pretty sight to get all that done. But now we're done with Luigi's Mansion. One was done with uh, po uh, one of the Pokemon games, too. So now we can play different games that don't take as long to make and render. Because <laughs> Luigi's Mansion takes forever. It was like, it takes an hour to do a level. So I decided to do two, like, two boss fights in one video and get it done with. It was like two hours long for the final boss battle fight. So, yeah. Mm. Right, Mom. Right, Mom. She's mad at me. What are you mad at me for? Are you on your train yet? What? Are you off of it? No, why? Are you on the train? Well, you gotta talk to everyone. <laughs> Ow. I can't even see where I'm going. <laughs> this hood is too big unless I got like it, it comes under my eyes and I can't see where I'm walking. <sighs> Tell him to pretend to be a one in one of my videos. Tell him to buy a gorilla suit. Uh, guys, it's something. Anyway, guys, I'll cut back in a few minutes because it's really cold out here. I don't want my phone to get broken. So I'll cut back then. So, hi, guys, I'm back. So, yeah, it's been a while since I talked to you guys. Last time I talked to you guys, it was like 12 o'clock in the morning and I haven't vlogged since. My bad. I kind of forgot. And then I fell asleep after dinner. And I just woke up and it's too late to do anything. Now I gotta go to bed. So I'm literally gonna vlog and go to bed because it's like one o'clock in the morning now. <laughs> My bad. Oh, guys, look at this. I showed up a bunch of cardboard uh, for warm food and yeah, well, cardboard and paper and stuff like that. Mongo gave me a bunch of cardboard. I tried up most of it. But we're gonna keep this cardboard because I'll show you here in a minute. This cardboard over here because it's nice and big. So, and whenever we, in the spring, when we have our cover crop, we're going to stump it and we'll put that over top of it in the garden and then it'll help kill the cover crop in certain areas. Or, we might just take it, stick it out in the yard down here and make a new plot and then we'll pull it and plant it. Or we'll just throw dirt on top of it. I don't know yet. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we're going to put it somewhere outside. Because it's, it's, we could actually shred up and feed the worms, but there's no point. I mean, there's a point. We can't. Oh, oh that's something I'm going to show you. Guys, 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 it's back. Oh, it came back. We got a new one. Which I'm still mad I broke the first one. It's, the, the funny thing is, is whenever we got it, there's a little package on it that says, do not drop. And I was like, yeah, it, says, it should say, do not drop, do not drop on either. Because I literally pile dropped it. Because I had it on the floor, not like where it is now. But I had it on the floor, because it's there now, because it's in the way. But we had it in here in the kitchen, because we was using it. In the kitchen, obviously, because it's a kitchen appliance. And I was walking around, I had it like right here. I told you this before, I had it like right here on the floor. And I was walking back and forth, I was cooking food in the morning. I was walking back and forth like this, I know, my mom does. And I went... Pooh! A pile dropped right on top of it. I fell right on through it. Elbowed it right through the top of it. But 
The cool thing about this new one is, well, it's the same one we had before, but it came and it was all messed up. The things, these things inside with the trays, uh, these, whoever shipped it, I'm actually for that got part, they came in and it was all messed up. They was all bent together and smooshed in there like no one cared what they was doing. And I'm surprised they actually got it apart. We almost had to go put it back and get another one because they said to us it was all broke. But thankfully, once we pulled them out, the trays went back to normal. But yeah, they was like all, like, they were shoved into two holes at once. It was bad. <gasps> bad. I should have took a picture of it. <gasps> Why am I hiccuping now? Really? Why am I hiccuping now? But, <gasps> oh man. <gasps> Anyways, guys. So, oh, also, this plant is down here now. Mm -hmm. And the lights are there. That should be close enough. Probably for like I want to get it closer, but there's no room for this thing. It's so heavy and big, I can't put it anywhere else. I'm thinking about putting it on that stand there, but it has a lot of stuff to move. But I can't put it back up here anymore because this thing got wet because I, I watered it. And this thing right here got wet. And now, look at it. It's really, really weak. It was like crunching and moaning and stuff. And this thing is not very strong. It's basically like a particle board. And it got wet, and now it's not going to hold anymore. Because it, I thought all the water was out of it, but it's still leaking. But it's still looking good. Look how much better this thing looks. Look, did something take a bite out of that, or is it just the way it grew? Here's all the new growth. There's some new ones over here. I don't know what this is. I think that's a thing. What is it? Is that a tree? I have no idea what this is, but it shouldn't be there. Yeah, it's actually coming back. All this came back in the front, and one over here, but there's none on this side. I don't, well, here's one. Maybe if I dig around a little bit, I can find some new growth. I don't know. More water, some more compost tea once we make some in the spring. I can't wait. Guys, we're in the we're in the full mode making compost now because it's warm enough for us to actually turn the compost pile uh, pile outside, which I'm gonna start doing now. You still have to turn the compost pile once a week. We really don't. One, if we use a lot of woody material like cardboard and paper and leaves, leaves, you don't really got. If you use a lot of like, I say woody. Well, I'm gonna say when you use a lot of carbon material, if you don't turn it all the time, one, it will take a really long time to decompose. But two, it'll be a lot better because. When it does decompose, especially paper, well, paper, you can't really let just sit there because you have to, you have to add something to paper. But if you have cardboard and paper and you just let it sit there for a while and you add like other stuff to it, we usually take cardboard paper and stuff from the chicken house, uh, like the hay and stuff from the chicken house because it's usually good. But once you add that, it's a lot of, the nitrogen from the chickens is, isn't really enough to jumpstart to make an actual compost. Well, we'll set a tip for too, but if you make a big enough pile of it, basically, if you let it sit there like we do through the winter, Basically, instead of having, instead of turning it, because people say, oh, you can turn compost year-round. No, we can't. Not when it's negative five degrees. They say, oh, it gets hot enough. No, it doesn't. Around where we live, maybe if you're down south a little bit more, or maybe not as north as we are, where it doesn't get negative 10 degrees every day for, like, 10 days straight, which it, I don't think it's that cold, but it does get pretty cold around here. Uh, <laughs> ours freezes solid. We can't turn it. But right around now is when we can actually start turning. It's about 32-ish degrees at night. It's staying around there. Maybe it'll go down to like 25. It actually was supposed to get like 3 inches of 60s of snow this weekend. But before that, we're going to try turning it. Uh, basically, if you have a lot of carbon in your compost pile, you don't turn it. And you don't turn it a lot. One, it'll take longer. But two, instead of being uh, dominated by bacteria, when you turn it, because that's what makes the compost go fast, you turn it. And then the bacteria heats up in the middle and it heats it from the inside. It heats, it heats the nitrogen and comes out. But if it's a lot of carbon-ish, carbon stuff like paper, cardboard, leaves... Like brown material basically sticks. Uh, if you leave it like that and you just don't turn it to the winter, you actually get a lot of fungal. It'll be more fungal dominated, which is actually better for your garden because most gardens are are uh, dominated by bacteria, which you actually need for most plants. You need about 50 50 split, but yeah, you need about 50 50 split of carbon or they can grow the best they can. You need a lot more fungal than you think. Some people say you don't really need fungal, some people say it could be dominated by. Uh, by um this bacteria i mean you can grow plants like that that's how most gardeners grow plants anyways like whenever you're out there and you because what but fungal does a lot of stuff for your for your roots if you're if it's more fungal dominated you don't have to add as much uh we don't we haven't been fertilizing our garden in like 20 years maybe even 30 years i don't think my dad ever applied fertilizer to it since i was born i'm like 24 and he stopped like 10 years before i was born so yeah he's just adding compost every year but to people that add a bunch of uh of uh that had to add, that had fertilizer every year and not compost, you're really killing most of the fungal off because fungal is really, is really, really easy to kill off. It's like a micro fungal stuff in it. Different fungi in your soil attracts the plants and it feeds them. That's how plants get their food, actually, 
it's either from bacteria in your soul. It's actually easier. I think it's easier for, I can't remember if it's easier. Basically, it's like 50-50. You need a 50-50 split between fungus and bacteria in your soil for your plants to get all the nutrients they need. Actually, there's actually been studies where they've done studies. They have like a 50 split between fungal and uh, fungal and bacteria dominated soil, like 50-50 split. And then they add it to like really bad soil. The plants actually do better than soil that was bad. And then they added a bunch of uh, fertilizer to it because... One, th there's there's all the fertilizer you need. Any soil on the planet has enough uh, back, uh, N, P, and K to grow any plant, basically. It's just that there might not be enough life in your soil for the plant to uptake the nutrients from your soil. Because N, P, and K, it, it, it's transferred between fungus and bacteria to your plant roots, and it uptakes it. Yeah. Now, there might be some deficiencies in, uh, like, trace minerals, but they're not really as... I mean, they're important. It makes your food taste better. But if there's not enough trace minerals, they can be easily apply because tra they're trace minerals. You can plant pretty easily. Like, actually, if you if you don't have enough trace minerals in your soil and you go like if you make compost and you get your compost from a different source or different like trees, like trees, if you get leaves, they have they're packed full of minerals because the trees have giant roots that go all over the place and they suck up all the nutrients. And then when the leaves fall, most of the nutrients in the leaves. And actually, leaves are very fungal dominated because that's. Usually the stage it goes, usually like, there's like stages of like land. Basically it's like just dirt and then the first grass grows, which, cause grass transmits most of its minerals between each other. And then you might have some flowers growing and then eventually it'll turn to like a forest cause forest is more fungal dominated. Yeah, it changes with how dominant your soil is. Like if it's just, it, it's really weird. It, 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 it's just some complicated stuff. I can't really get into all of it, but yeah, it's pretty cool. But Look at this cardboard, though. I love this cardboard. Worms love cardboard, by the way. I gave a bag of to my worms already. Of They love... Worms love rotten food. <laughs> you can basically feed your worms anything besides meat and dairy products. You can feed them eggshells, but if you're going to feed them eggshells, you really need to ground them up pretty fine. But, yeah. And, and you can also even feed your worms... If you really, really want it to, you could even feed your worms meat. But at that point, it'll stink and probably have more maggots eating it than your worms. So I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You can feed your worms basically anything that's been alive. They love wooden material they love cardboard they love cardboard one because actually like thicker cardboard like this this isn't really the thick stuff but you can get like thicker cardboard with like holes in between it they love this stuff corrugated cardboard uh because then they can slither between they like to lay eggs in it in between it when they rub against it it's really cool but these compost or worm farms are filled with paper now from like here up is paper <laughs> in both all these so they should make it some nice compost the reason why I had it because I ran out of leaves. I start these bins out in the uh, beginning of the right before winter or fall came. I added a bunch of compost and basically I redid the bed because I brought worms inside from outside because I knew they, most of them were going to die. But they're going to restart here in a little bit in a little while once I get uh, the worms up to like above 40 degrees because this is the eggs will hatch out and they'll restart it. But I brought most of them in when we cleaned the compost because we had some pretty good. We have like a half uh, barrel of worm compost outside, which is probably not as potent as it should be because it's been in the wintertime and it froze. Most of the bacteria probably died in it, but we're still going to make warm tea out of it, and we have a whole bunch of compost. We're most basically going to make warm tea and compost tea out of all this. What we're going to do with it because it's pretty cool stuff. Anyways, guys, no with my jibber jab, but I got to go to do stuff and go to bed because it's late and I'm tired. I want to go back to sleep because I just woke up, but yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. Bye, guys. I'm back. Going to vlog, didn't really do all day, mostly just talked garden stuff because I'm really excited because it's warmed up enough that we can actually turn our compost pile and actually make compost. We, we actually have compost in the barrels. They usually do pretty well through winter. Like I said, in one time we kind of just stop making it because it freezes so you can't really turn it. But some people say if you turn it enough, it'll actually stay active in the winter. I don't know. I don't believe it. We never had compost through winter time that stays hot enough because it gets really cold around here. Maybe if, if anybody lives really north and, and it gets like negative five degrees on a regular basis-ish, and they can, and they still have compost going. Please let me know, cause I, we just can't do it. <laughs> I don't know what we do wrong. Maybe we don't turn it enough. Maybe we don't have enough nitrogen for it. I'm not sure, but there's a whole lot of things to, to compost. It's 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 crazy. Anyways, guys, I guess I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh, the outro. Bye, guys. I'm back. If you made it this far, I want to say a big thank you because watching a lot of my videos like this, if you watch to the end, leave something below, like banana or lemon, or leave, leave your favorite fruit below if you watch this far. Well, it'll be our little secret. To anyone who doesn't watch to the end, you won't know what's happening in the comments. One, because comments are good for the algorithm, and two, watching to my videos and it's good for the algorithm. So if you guys want to do that, it'll be awesome. Also, there's videos here, here, and here. There's two beside my face, and then there's my channel to click underneath my face to subscribe. That'd be great also.
Anyway guys, thank you for watching my video. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!